Hi, welcome to Cache Walks. Today we're going to find a couple of geocaches around a wonderful sculpture called The Thinker by Rodin. So come with us and see the sculptures and the geocaches. The Rodin Museum is housed in a beautiful building and lovely grounds. We went first to see The Thinker. It was strange to see such an iconic image in real life. The movie Midnight in Paris has two scenes filmed here at the foot of the thinker. It includes the president of France's wife, Carla Sarkozy, in the role of museum guide. It's a great movie. We headed into the museum building to see more works by Rodin. We were interested in seeing the kiss as we had first seen it in Auckland Art Gallery in 2017 on loan from the Tate Modern. Rodin made three marble versions of the kiss and some smaller plaster, terracotta and bronze ones. It was rather controversial when first exhibited in 1887. We knew of his work in bronze but found his sculptures in marble fascinating. Here is Rose Barrett, who became his lifetime companion and modelled for many of his works. They married in the last year of both their lives. The waltz by Camille Claudel was inspired by her love affair with Rodin. We headed into the garden to see his Gates of Hell, a monumental sculptural group that depicts a scene from Dante's Inferno. Rodin would continue to work on and off on this project for 37 years. Several of the figures were also cast independently by Rodin, including the thinker and the kiss, which he later removed and replaced with another couple as it seemed to conflict with the other suffering figures. We enjoyed walking in the beautiful garden. Then past more of Rodin's sculptures on the metro station's platform and off for lunch. It was a wonderful blueberry tart. Mmm, yum! We headed out to find a geocache in an interesting location, a place we'd never have gone if it hadn't been hidden there. The geocache was hidden outside La Pagode, built in 1896 by a wealthy businessman as a unique birthday present for his wife Amandine. She used it to hold lavish banquets and concerts at the height of the flamboyant Belle Epoque era, when Japanese art was all the rage. In 1931, it was used as a cinema showing quality avant-garde films. Jackie Kennedy had a solo viewing here. We arrived just as school was getting out, so muggles everywhere. The geocache has since been archived. But as the theatre is being renovated behind this wooden wall for reopening in 2021, maybe it's time for another geocache to be placed here. We headed on for another adventure. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching.